Hi, it's Emily from Emily Does It Herself, and I am down in my basement bathroom today. I have a toilet paper holder that I installed that I hate, and I'm gonna show it to you. It's this one right here. I like the style just fine. I only installed it about uh, three years ago. Um, I don't like that it only has one support attached to the wall, and this is why. With use, with just one support connected to the wall, it continues to get loose. I tighten it, uh, and then just with use, it loosens again. And so what happens is, number one, it's not even level right now. It's pointing down toward the ground on that left-hand side. Um, but it just, it moves, and it feels wonky, and I hate it. And so I have one that's very, very similar in looks, but it attaches to the wall twice. So I'm hoping when I take this one off, I'll be able to use the existing holes for the one side and just make some holes for the other and attach it. This is the new set. So yeah, very similar to the old set, except it has another piece that'll go on the end there and it will be attached. And then this one is supposed to go up and down so that you can change your toilet paper roll, except then it will have support so that it doesn't start leaning down. So these are normally attached um, using an Allen wrench down here. So I'm gonna get that disassembled and we'll see what we're dealing with. Okay, so the little Allen wrench that came with my new set fits the set screw with the old set and I'm just gonna loosen it. And I can pull that off now. And I can see there's a little bit, whoops, sorry a little bit of play here. Um, and I don't know if this screw has just worked its way loose or I feel like the wall anchor is not quite uh, spread the way it's supposed to or something because I should be able to tighten that up and it's just not, it's not tightening. It's just turning in place. So I'm going to remove that and see what we're dealing with. Okay, I've removed it and there's really no reason why it should be turning in place. The wall anchors aren't turning in place. If I try and remo remove those wall anchors, it's gonna make a big hole. I don't wanna do that. So this is the screw I just removed from the wall, this bigger one. These are the screws that come with my new set and they're a little bit thinner and a teensy bit shorter. I am gonna go see if I can find something that's a little bit wider that will grip the wall anchor a little bit more so I don't have to pull out those holes. I just went to move it um, to see how loose it was in there and it was easy to just kind of pull out. The other one is tighter in there I think. It's not budging but that top one was loose which is also the one that allowed <laughs> the toilet paper holder to move back and forth. Okay I found a little bit bigger wall anchor and like you should be able to put them into the hole and then when you screw in that's when they flare out on the other end so i'm going to cross my fingers that this works i'm going to push that in i might need a hammer which is good because uh, that means that it's tight in there so i'm going to do that okay so now I'm going to try and attach my new plate. Okay, I have it in there and you'll see, you can kind of see that top one is a flat uh, and the other one is curved. That's because I used a new wall anchor, new screw for the top. And then I used the existing <laughs> uh, wall anchor and the existing screw for the bottom. So that's the screw that came with the old set. Um, and it's in there pretty good and tight. Like I can't turn that anymore. So, um, unfortunately, the bottom one, you can turn a little bit. So I'm debating whether I pull that one out and put in a new wall anchor there. I was able to remove that lower wall anchor and put in a new one. I feel fairly confident that's gonna hold it tight. Um, now I need to measure so that I know where to put the other side of my toilet paper holder. The assembled holder here, and like I said, this moves up and down for you to be able to change your roll. 
Um, so I have to be pretty precise so that it hits it where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna measure from set screw to set screw and that should be the same distance between those holes and what should be the other holes on the other side. And then I'll just need to measure up from the floor so that it's gonna be level. Okay, so it looks like this is six and a quarter. I need to measure six and a quarter this way and make a mark. Measured six and a quarter away from that bottom hole. I don't think it's probably even, but um, I'm measuring up from the floor oh, now. This is 23 and a half inches up from the floor, right to the middle of the hole. And this horizontal mark is 23 and a half inches from the floor. And so if we center our hole right there where they connect, it should be where the bottom hole is over here. I'm gonna start off with a very small drill bit, um, just in case it's a stud behind there. Um, and if it is a stud, great, because then I don't need wall anchors and it'll hold it really tight. Um, but if there is no stud, which is probably the case, then I'll have to make a bigger hole so that I can fit a wall anchor. There was not a stud behind it, so I'm gonna have to make a big enough hole to fit my next wall anchor. A lot of times, um, <laughs> higher priced kits will tell you the exact size drill bit that you need for the wall anchor that they give you. Unfortunately, um, this was a cheap kit that I got and there are no directions whatsoever. So I'm just gonna have to eyeball it and make sure that it is not too big because if it's too big, that means that this is just gonna turn in the hole and not spread and connect and hold the screw in place. So I'm gonna try this one first. So what I do is I turn it upside down and I look at the hole uh, that it's gonna make and that one is way too small. Wouldn't you agree it's not gonna make the hole nearly big enough to get that wall anchor in it? So I'm gonna choose the next bigger size. Okay, this is the next bigger size and I think it's still a little too small, but I'm worried that the next size up is too big and let me show that to you. In my kit, this is the next bigger size. And I feel like it's the hole is just gonna to be too big. So I would rather start with a hole that's a little bit small and move my drill around to get it to the size it needs to be instead of starting off with a big chunk and making the hole too large. So that's what I'm gonna do. I made my hole and it might not look pretty or perfectly round right now, but I think it's a good size for me to be able to tightly hammer in my wall anchor. Lined up my fixture in place to see if it was level. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this one is underneath this one's just a smidge on top of it to make it level. So I'm gonna have to adjust that with the next hole that I put in, right? Um, so I'm gonna have to put it a little bit higher. So let me show you what I mean. So um, a lot of times, you know, there's a little bit of play. This one has a little bit of play um, turning it, right? So uh, see how the other, the top one is oblong? So instead of putting the hole near to the bottom. I'm gonna put it near to the top so I have a little bit of play to just move this just a smidge up. All right, I'm trying to get this plate out of there so that I could attach it to the wall. It's in there really tightly and I tried, of course I did it with two hands, but I tried turning this and I can't get it to turn. So what I'm gonna do is turn that Allen wrench the other way because then it will be longer. It'll give me a little more leverage to be able to turn that set screw. I'm gonna try it with one hand. Oh, see, I can get it to turn just with that extra leverage. So once I have that pulled out a little bit, I'll be able to remove that plate. I have one plate on, and now I am getting ready to attach the other plate. Both plates are attached and they are fairly level. So we are going to attach the holder now. One side is on and I'm just going to continue to tighten this as tight as I can get it. Okay. 
The bad thing is you have to take it out and re put it in every time because otherwise you'll scratch up your wall underneath. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now I'm gonna do the other side and cross my fingers that they match up. I am just gonna do a dry fit on here. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I am so excited. The measurements were correct. I might need to turn that just a smidge. I don't know, maybe not. It looks pretty good. Ugh. Full disclosure, this one, my new one, nice and tight. Doing what it's supposed to be doing, I think. This one, I have tightened this. I, I think I have to get bigger wall anchors and put in bigger screws because it's just not holding that plate tight enough because I have tightened this set screw as much as I can and it's still moving and I think it's the plate moving and not um, this part on the wall ink or on the plate. So disappointment. Blah. All right. So for some reason, these are just not spreading. I don't know what the deal is, but they're just coming right out. So what I'm going to try is I have these. So those should fit up nice and snug and these holes should be big enough to put these kind of fold and you put them in there. I'm not gonna do that yet because they have to go through my whoop, plate first. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you push those in and then when you turn this, when you're screwing it in, this snugs up tight to the back of your drywall. So I'm hoping, cross my fingers, because this one is nice and tight, not moving whatsoever. This one, I don't know. Those drywall anchors just, they weren't big enough. The first ones had really loosened and just wasn't working. So I'm gonna try this, cross your fingers. Okay, so I have these on here. I'm gonna fold these and then shove them in those holes. I'm nervous, y'all. I have to make these holes bigger in order to fit those wings. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be patching drywall. Holes are bigger, I got the wings in. What are the chances that this is gonna be level when I'm done? I got super nervous because I was turning and turning and turning and turning and I thought, is, is it just turning in place and that thing is not snugging up, but it's just they're super long screws. I think it's gonna work. All right, it's on there. It's super tight and it's level, if you can believe it. It kind of makes me want to take these out and put the other ones in, but I will know that if this side gets loose, I'll know what to do. Right now, I'm just going to put my toilet paper holder on and be done with this project. Okay, everybody, this is solid now. This is staying here. There is no movement. Uh, the one thing that I wish I would have done is give a little bit more um, clearance here because it's kind of, that rubber is hitting right there. But, so this just lifts up, put your toilet paper on, it comes back down. So there you go, no more toilet paper flying off the end when you try and get some, no more sloped, holder anymore. It's solid. It's good to go. It matches everything else in here. So we, I am happy. Even though it was a challenge, I worked through it and got it fixed. Thanks a lot.